Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eoch, and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today's Thursday, November 24th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 3, verses 20 and 21, chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. Brethren, our commonwealth is in heaven, and from it we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power which enables him even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brethren, whom I love and I long for, my joy and my crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. I entreat Euodia, and I entreat Syntyche to agree in the Lord. And I ask you also, true yoke fellow, to help these women, for they have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. And the next is from the gospel reading. It's from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 18, verses 31 through 34. At that time, Jesus, taking his twelve disciples, said to them, Behold, we are going to Jerusalem, and everything that is written of the Son of Man by the prophets will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles, and will be mocked and shamefully treated and spit upon, and they will scourge him and kill him, and on the third day he will rise. But they understood none of these things. The saying was hid from them, and they did not grasp what was said. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Today in the United States, we celebrate the Day of Thanksgiving. In the Orthodox Church, we have the leave-taking of the entrance of the Mother of God into the Temple. And, of course, we have the Gospel reading that we see today, this passage about our Lord going to Jerusalem and being poorly treated once he gets there. So all of these things are happening at once. You may not be aware of it, but the word orthodox literally means to pray correctly or to give glory correctly. Some people could say it's correct doctrine, but that's really not it. That's not the real meaning. The purpose of our faith is to learn how to pray as best as we possibly can. The best thing that we can do as, made, as beings made in the image of God is reflect his glory back to him. We sing through songs and through our icons and everything else that we do. Why am I bringing that up now? Because when we think about these three things, Thanksgiving, the leave-taking of the entrance, and our Lord's passion, all of these things lead in one way or another to that kind of glory. The mother of God in the entrance of the te temple is able to spend time in the presence of God's glory for nine years. That is quite a long time. A person consecrated to God, she learns the depths and the breadth of spiritual holiness. She acquires a spirit of great humility. She learns how to pray the scriptures by memory for all the time that she spent there. Her heart's yearning is just to be with God and to serve God in any way that she possibly can. And so she's giving of herself to give God glory. In addition to that, we have our Lord and his passion. Were it not for his passion, we would be unable to give glory. In fact, that is the only thing that we can truly give God. All other forms of sacrifice or sacrificial practices are null and void because of what he himself did. By delivering us from death, by his death, we are able to give thanks to God purely and without any kind of reservation whatsoever. So our job, if you will, as human beings, is exactly that, to give God glory, because, again, the only thing that we can do, based on what he has done for us, is say thank you. And so that's what we do. We give him glory so that he may be properly worshipped by us and by everyone because of what he has done for us. And then the third, Thanksgiving. Today we live in a time of, well, somewhat strife. Um, things are not as bad as they have been in the past, but they are certainly um, opportunities for improvement. But in all things, no matter what comes our way, the fact of the matter remains that Christ is the Lord of history. And whatever comes, we know that through his glorious resurrection from the dead, we have 
had death overcome and overruled. So there is nothing that can be thrown at us, adversity or any other kind of misfortune, that can separate us from the reality of the resurrection of our Lord. And so even in times of strife and struggle, we can still have the opportunity to say glory to God for all things, which is exactly what St. John Chrysostom did in his way out of Constantinople. We give God glory for every opportunity that he has presented us to worship him and to glorify his holy name. So even in the midst of our struggles, or our joys, whichever, may we develop that spirit of gratitude also, so that we likewise can give proper glory to God where it is due. May God help us accomplish these things. And may he also bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. You have a great Thanksgiving, a great day, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.